Well, USDA's June 1 grain stocks and acreage reports kind of caught traders flat-footed on Wednesday with a double whammy of lower stocks and acreage than pre-report surveys had expected. USDA estimated this year's corn planted acreage at 92.7 million acres compared to the March intentions of 91.14 million acres and last year's final of 90.8 million acres. As is often the case with these USDA reports, wheat took a back seat to both corn and soybeans. All wheat acres nonetheless expected by the Dow Jones pre-report survey to be around 45.95 million acres was instead higher at 46.7 million acres, but still the wheat acreage comes in as the fourth lowest planting on record. Now, following months of severe and expanding drought conditions here in the Northern Plains, it does seem that spring wheat abandonment will hold a lot more interest than planted acres as we move forward. And certainly the jury is still on, out on that, especially with these record temperatures back in the forecast. And finally today, it looks like Farmland Reserve, the real estate company of the Mormon Church, has submitted the high bid of $209 million for the Easter Day Ranch properties in eastern Washington, topping a company linked to Bill Gates. Now the winning bid, which must be approved by a judge, was reported earlier this week to the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for Eastern Washington. Now Gates's company, Delaware-based 100C LLC, bid $208 million according to those court records. Meanwhile, Cody Easterday and his wife and mother declared bankruptcy back in February as he faced charges of defrauding Tyson Foods and another company of $244 million by billing the companies for non-existent cattle. Easterday pleaded guilty in March to one count of wire fraud, and he now faces up to 20 years in prison. By the way, he's scheduled to be sentenced August 4th in the U.S. District Court for Eastern Washington. That's a look at your farm and ranch news. Have a great day.